In today's video, we are going to learn about the structure of a cell or a journalized cell. And the subtopic that we are going to cover is the introduction, properties, explanation. And then there is a quiz for you guys in the end. So structure of a cell. Structure of a generalized cell, it can be studied under light as well as under electron microscope, first of all, right? The modern technology, it enables us to isolate various components of the cells, including its organelles, by a process of cell uh, fraction and then study their structure and function in details, right? So, jitne bhi cells hain, theek hai, unme jo basic components hain, wo teen the. Kya? The first one is the plasma membrane. Or a cell wall in the plant. Second is the cytoplasm. Containing all of the cellular organelles. The third one is the nucleus. With con that is containing the nuclear or the chromatin material that is the DNA or protein. Right? So in the traditional system of classification, all organisms are divided into plants and animals. The cell of plant and animals can be distinguished by the presence or absence of cell wall. The cell wall is present here in plant, but it is not present in animal cell. So cell of plants and animals, they are both are highly complex and they have di distinct nucleus, right? Chromatin material is bounded by a membrane and they are called as eukaryotic. On the other hand, the primitive type of cells such as bacteria, they lack a definite um, nucleus and are said to be prokaryotic, right? Eukaryotic. Eukaryotic are the one where the chromatin material is bounded by a membrane. Or there are some primitive type of cells such as the bacterial one. Okay. There is a lack of definite nucleus and they are said to be prokaryotic. Or prokaryotic jo cell hote hain, wahan pe jo uh, nuclear material hote hain, it is directly submerged in the cytoplasm. And it is not separated from by any sort of membranes. Wo directly cytoplasm ke andar yoga. Thik hai? So here in this diagram, you can see the structure of both animal as well as the plant cell. So let's take a closer look, right? Agar hum dekhen to plant cells mein sabse pehle ye cell wall hai, the outer boundary. Then the inner boundary is the cell membrane. This is the Golgi apparatus. Then this is the vacuole membrane. The chloroplast is present here in the plant cell. ठीक है, then हमारे पास यहाँ पे ये ribosomes हैं, उसके बाद हमारे पास यहाँ पे endoplasmic reticulum है, then nucleolus, the nucleus, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, again chloroplast, then there is a large central uh, vacuole, then there is a myeloplast or a starch grain, here it is mitochondria. The, this whole greenish part is the cytoplasm. Then there is a druse crystal here and refined crystal right here. If we animal cells, we see here we have mitochondria. Then there is Golgi apparatus. There is nucleolus and nucleus. Centrioles, microtubules right here. This yellow empty space is the cytoplasm. And then this teeny tiny structure is the ribosomes. This boundary is the plasma membrane. Then there is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum as well as the rough endoplasmic reticulum. There is a lysosomes and then there is a pinocytotic 
vesicle right here if you can see there are some common things that are present in both of the plant and the animal cell first we can see plasma membrane it's present in both see here it is the plasma membrane that is present here here it is the plasma membrane or the cell membrane that is present here then the second common structure is the cytoplasm this whole yellow structure that is empty is the cytoplasm and here this whole green uh, space that is empty is the cytoplasm then the third common structure that is present in both is the nucleus here you can see this big structure is the nucleus and here this purple structure is the nucleus so there are some structures that are common in both of the plant as well as in the animal cell however they do contain some structures that are specific to each of them like the plant cells have their own set of structures and the animal cell they contain their own own set of structures right if we look a uh, further a little deeper into the difference we can see that cell wall the first feature it is absent in the animal cell but it is present in the plant cell where it, where it is formed by cellulose then vacuole one or more vacuole are present in animal cell but a large central vacuole is present in the plant cell centrioles are present in animal cell but they are present only in smaller uh, lower plant forms right then chloroplast is absent in animal cell but it is present in plant cell plastids present hote hain but dono mein right isi tarah jo cell wall hai wo absent hai animal cell mein but it is present in the plant cell flagella it is present in some cell like the mammalian sperm cell but it is not usually present in the plant cell but some might have lysosomes present hote hain animal cells mein but they aren't present in the plant cell cilia is a structure present in some animal cell but they are not usually present in the plant cell however some complex plants might have them so now the quiz time so the first mcq that we got for today is that chloroplast is present in animal cell plant cell or both as we know that chloroplast is a structure that is only present in plant cell so here the second option is the correct one the next mcq that we got for today is that uh, that the cell wall cell wall not the cell membrane guys remember the difference cell wall is present in animal cell plant cell or both as we know that cell wall is only present in the plant cell however the cell membrane also known as the plasma membrane is a structure that is common to both that is present in both right so this conclude the end of our today's lesson if you guys got any queries you can ask them below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and thank you so much for watching